Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a warp transition effect very easy and quick in After Effects. So first what I'm going to do is, I will scroll to my second clip and then I will create new adjustment layer. Now let's cut the beginning of that adjustment layer and then scroll 30 frames forward, hold shift and press page down 3 times on your keyboard, and now cut the ending as well. Let's rename that layer to warp. Now go to the very beginning of it and then add CC lens effect on a warp layer. Let's bump up size to around 120 and then click on size stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then scroll to the very end of a warp layer and bump up size to 500. Now scroll back to the beginning again and add optics compensation effect. Change field of view to 115 and then check reverse lens distortion. Make sure to click on field of view stopwatch icon and then scroll to the end of warp layer and change field of view back to zero. Let me quickly show you what we have made. Looks pretty nice, we are almost done. Scroll to the beginning again and then add turbulent displace effect. Play around with the amount, I will set it to negative 15 and then increase the size to around 200. Now click on amount stopwatch icon and then scroll to the end of warp layer and change amount back to zero. Looks fine to me, the warp effect is done, but now you can add a shake effect as well, or leave it like that. Let me show you how to add a vertical shake really quick. Let's apply motion tile effect on warp layer. Now toggle off all other effects, otherwise we won't be able to see the changes on motion tile. Move motion tile above other effects, then make sure you are at the very beginning of a warp layer and then click on tile center stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now drag tile center position down like this. You can control the position with this anchor point here, so keep the distance between center and a tile anchor point something like that. Now scroll forward a bit and then move tile center up like that, but this time make sure to stay closer to the center. Go forward again and move tile center down and now stay even more closer to the center. Finally go to very end of a warp layer and then right click on tile center and select reset to bring the position to default values. Let's quickly check just a shake effect now. Looks nice, but let's quickly fix this edge issue. Make sure to check mirror edges and then change output height to 300. Now let's toggle on all other effects and then we can check the whole warp transition effect. And make sure to enable motion blur on warp layer. Looks so clean and smooth to me. Check other shake transition tutorials on the channel, or in the description below. Also you can save your time and get my 16 unique and advanced shake presets from the link in the description. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and like the video please.